Hey peeps, this is Mango. Welcome back to another Computer Craft tutorial episode. Today I'll be looking at pocket computers and a little bit more remote control for your turtles and for and to a little bit and to automate your base a little bit more. So let's just jump straight into it. So you remember the last episode how I mentioned about the pocket computers? In this episode we'll be investigating them into them and investigating how we can uh, implement some nifty and pretty clever applications to control our little turtle friends. So if you open this guy up you can see it's like a turtle, it's like a normal computer interface but it's smaller and it has generally the same functions however it stays running when you have it in your hand and if you drop it after a few seconds it will turn off and there we are it turns off but when we can we can pick it back on so you can pass it over to your friends. Anyway we have to get into uh, generally just remote controlling things. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to re we're going to be we're going to design we're going to design a program for this guy. So I'm going to turn off NEI because as you guys know I hate that. So we're going to go edit and we're going to call this remote without the capital because that's annoying. So in the remote program what we're going to do is we're going to receive so we're going to go rednet dot open on the right side right right <laughs> sorry um we're going to open it on the right side because the the wireless modem is on the right side of the turtle and from there we're going to go red net so we're going to wait for a signal actually we're going to create a while loop first while true so this is going to just be doing it constantly do and we're going to just put end here so i don't forget it later and we're going to receive signals. So we're going to go rednet dot receive. I can never remember how this is spelled. And we're going to, we don't need to put any of the arguments in there. So what we're going to do from there, just put local before that, and we're going to go local sender. So this is the sender, the ID. We did this before. And then we're going to have message and protocol. Like that. And we're going to go, it's going to equal rednet.receive. Apologies if I spelt this wrong and there's syntax errors. So this will this will put the different values inside. Well, it, when this returns multiple values, this will just put it in, put it in these, each of these variables. Anyway, so this is going to, this is going to, we can actually delete this line now because we don't need it. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to go, this is sort of same thing, sort of, Thought, sort of same thing we did last time, but we're going to go if message equals, uh, hang on a second, equals, okay, so I have written a bit of the code here, just so you, you don't have to watch watch me just type it, you can see, just, just copy that, hopefully that this will work, so basically what it's doing is it's just getting the message, and if the message is that, then the turtle will do it. So that will be a basic program, what we'll do, so we're going to go edit it out. And what we're going to do from there is go to our wireless pocket computer. I'm going to create a new program, and we're going to call this remote. Well, we're going to call this send remote. How about that? So here's our program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go rednet.open. Now, on a pocket computer, the rednet side to open is on the back, the back of the computer. Even, even though there's no real back, it still treats it as if the modem of the red net, the red net modem is if it's on the back. So, what I'm going to do from there is we're going to go, uh, we're going to create a while loop, roll true do, read, uh, hang on, import, hang on a second. Okay, so I have written a bit of the code here, just so you, you don't have to watch watch me just type it. You can see, just, just copy that, hopefully that this will work. So basically what it's doing is it's just getting the message, and if the message is that, then the turtle will do it. So that will be a basic program, what we'll do, so we're going to go edit it out. And what we're going to do from there is go to our wireless pocket computer, I'm going to create a new program, and we're going to call this remote, well, we're going to call this send remote, how about that? So here's our program, so what we're going to do is we're going to go rednet.open. Now on a pocket computer, the rednet side to open is on the back, the back of the computer. Even even though there's no real back, it still treats it as if the modem of the red net, the red net modem is if it's on the back. So, 
what we're going to do from there is we're going to go, uh, we're going to create a while loop. Roll true do. Read. Uh, hang on. Import. Hang on a second. So what we're going to do is actually something a little bit clever. We're actually going to pull the WSAD keys from the keyboard of our actual keyboard and let that control the turtle, which is going to be something clever, don't you think? I think it will be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a, hang on a second, local event character. I'll put this over here, actually. Nope, I'm going to put it here. Character equals OS dot pull event and this is going to be char so this will actually pull our character what character we press and assign it to what the character in that variable there and I'm actually gonna indent this a little bit remember oh it's already indented okay never mind remember to always indent your code so what we're gonna do from there now if if the character is W and so this will be so every time this the that run there, that line there, if every time run line three runs, which is every time the, the the true the while loop goes through, this will always update. So that's that's important. So what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna go if character equals equals not triple equals W do do rednet dot send sorry not send broadcast. Broadcast will be a little bit easier to use. Broadcast forward. So let's do a little bit of a test run here to make sure this will work. Oh, it's raining. And we're going to put an uh, end here. And end there. Let's save. And let's turn off this rain because that's annoying. And what we're going to do is we're going to send remote Oops, sorry guys, just a, a, a then there. That will do. Let's try that again. <laughs> Whoops. So was when you press W. Derp again, we actually need to get this guy res we actually need to get this guy receiving first. Oh, hang on a second. We did it again. I bet you did we get I did I bet we did it again, guys. Alright, this needs to be then. <laughs> Whoops. They're only for for loops, guys, and while loops. Don't. You should. You guys shouldn't be watching this tutorial. I'm such a noob. All right. Anyway, let's run this again. Now it's working. You can see the red net's on. Right there. Go send remote. If we try and get our edge UI. Oh no, not like that. You can see that if we just terminate this program again, and we run it. I derped again. This has to be a string, guys. <laughs> Alright, hang on. We've got to get this guy. Yep, so he's receiving, right? Yep. Send remote. Now, if we get our GUI, so if we press W, you can see every time we press W, he moves forward. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Very, very cool. So let's go ahead and terminate this program by holding Control and T. And we're going to... We're going to teach this program a little bit more about how to do this. Uh, send remote. There we are. So we're going to type this again. If character and uh, equal w double equals a then rednet dot broadcast, and we're going to do it like that. I know there is better ways to do this. I know there is, but this is the most simple way, in my opinion. You guys might not agree with that, but that's the most simple way to do it. Now, I just want to say while I'm typing this, uh, I know I can be, I know I can do it a little bit, a little bit, well, a little bit more conveniently. I have recorded this episode already, but I had to dump the footage. I was, I was doing Rednet. The problem is, is Rednet wasn't working, <laughs> so it wasn't very convenient. Rednet is kind of broken, I've heard, so that's why I couldn't do that. Anyway, rednet dot broadcast. So this is the D key. So that has to be. So if it's A, it's back. We have to broadcast back. Back. And if it's D, the rednet broad broadcast. And we're going to do this right like that. 
Right. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if character equals equals s, then rednet dot broadcast. So this is back. Uh, hang on a second. Yes, I'm getting mixed up again. End. I know the indentation isn't correct. This has to be left. I'm getting really confused here. Alright. So let's run the send... I'm pretty sure the send program's still running. Yep, the receive program. So let's just get our GUI so we can see the turtle. Let's run send remote again. So now if we... You can see when we're using our arrow keys... Okay, so the, the S key isn't working, but you can see all the other all the other keys do. You can see we can control our turtle remotely. Now, I'm not just pressing random keys. I'm actually controlling it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the turtle turn left, make him go forward. Let's make him turn left again, go forward, right, and he's going down the line. It's just to prove he's not actually just doing something random. All right, that's pretty cool. So you might notice how the back key isn't working. Let's see why it isn't working. All right, where is it? So the the key that we want is back. So the character is S. So let's look. At, let's have a look in his program. I think the problem the problem is in his his program. Let's not actually run it. Let's edit it. Edit remote. Uh, if the message equals back, I don't think this is. I don't think this is going. I don't think this is going. Yeah. So for some reason the back isn't working, but you can still see. It's 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 really cool. It's moving around remotely, and it's actually pretty pretty responsive as well. So you can get your tail to do a lot with this. So let's 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 change this around a bit. So we're going to implement the ability for this turtle to break blocks. If message equals equals break, and that's actually recognizing that as a function. Anyway, that shouldn't matter. If then. So if the if it's broadcasting break, then we're gonna go turtle dot break. So this will just break the block in front of it. And if message equals and we're going to make this climb. So this will make the turtle go like up. No, we'll just make this up, it'll be easier. Then turtle dot I know I'm not indenting this correctly. <laughs> I know I'm not indenting this correctly, guys. Um, and then the other one we're going to do is we're just going to have down. So this is three new functions. Now, don't think you're just restrained to this, by the way. You are actually, you you can go, you can, you don't have to have all these functions. You can have a lot more. Like you can have, you can have turtle pick up chests remotely, um, pick, pick up stuff from chests remotely, and you can place blocks, you can break them, and whatnot. It's, it's pretty, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. All right. Let's just do this, and we actually have to implement it into our... Let's just run this straight away. We actually have to implement... Okay, what's going on here? Remote number 17. Uh, Total dot break. This is not what I wanted it to do. My apologies, it's not break, it's dig. Oopsie. Okay, let's just run this. This should work now. Remote. Now it's receiving. All we have to do now is actually edit our program to do this. So from there, we are going to, which is in, uh, which is in, oh, I just realized why, guys, why the back isn't working. It's because the in, the end is indented in there. Let's put that there. Okay. So then now that the back should work. Anyway, if character equals equals, so what will, what will we have for our break key? We're going to have Q, I think would be a good one. Then rednet dot broadcast and we're going to make this break and then we're going to have from there uh, like that and we're going to have if character guess guys I know this isn't correctly indented and this is going to be the up key. Now, you can't use any special keys for this. Now, and that's, well, at least that's what I've tested. You can't use, like, stuff like shift or control or stuff like that. So, for this, we're going to use E for up because it's kind of relative. 
Mm, kind of. <laughs> anyway, um, broadcast. And we're going to make this for E. We're going to have up like that. There we are. And then that should just make the total go up. I'm going to go end. If character equals, and this is going to be C, because it's relative, it's just below the D key, then rednet.broadcast uh, down. That should work, right? Well, we'll see. All right, there we are. Save it. And we'll, we'll run this. Remote. Send remote, sorry. Okay, so it's running now. Let's just check this guy is still running. Yep. All right, let's, let's, let's test this. So using the arrow key still works. Now the back key should work. Yep. I'm going to move over a bit. And we're going to make this guy run through the wall. How about that? So let's see if we can get this guy like this. I'm going to make this guy go forward to the wall. There he is. And we're going to... So you can see the E and the C key works as well. That's one thing you do. that's interesting. And we're going to make him move forward. And if we... Get out a bit. Q. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on a second. There we are. For some reason that didn't work before, but now you can see he breaks the stuff. And if we make him turn right... You can, you can make him control stuff remotely, which is very, very cool, actually. Now, we can't dig up or down, so for now, we're just going to have to do it like that. I think that's a very cool function, personally. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do something a little, briefly a little bit different here. Oh, we'll leave that guy just there. And we're going to investigate a little bit of redstone. We'll only be doing it briefly, just to, just to get you hyped and... Well, not really hyped, but just excited for the next episode, because we'll be learning how to wire stuff up in the next episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some cobblestone and we're going to we're going to get some redstone out of this computer and wire it up to the door. There we are. Now this this lamp will interfere with it. Don't worry about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this lamp turn on, well not the lamp, sorry. The door to open when we want when we want when we enter the correct password, which is a little interesting little program combining some of the skills that we've learned. So from there what we're going to do it's going to go edit door. All right. So what we're going to do is first we're going to go print. So this will actually this will actually uh, like tell us please. Actually, no. We're going to do a little bit more slang. Hey mate, enter enter your password. Because I'm Australian, you see. Hey mate, enter your password. All right. So from there we're going to go read. Actually, we're going to put an input. Input. Better. Let's just pass. Equals input. Sorry. Read. And we're actually going to put a asterisk here. The reason being is because if you put something within these arguments, anything you type in will be replaced with this letter, which is useful for passwords. So what we're going to do from there is we're going to go if pass equals equals. And what's going to be a password? We're going to go with something really obscure and we're going to... Uh, we're going to use this. This is a pretty obscure password. No one ever is going to guess this. Then, and we're going to put end here so I don't forget it again. And we're going to type in redstone dot set output, and on the left, like that. Let's test if this works. Door. Oh, hang on. We've got something wrong here. What's going on? Okay. Two things, local, we've got to put local there, local, local's not required, but it's better, and you've got to actually got to put, hey, this is actually a string, let's try that again, door, alright, what's, what's my password mate, uh, I don't know, um, oh, it's raining again, ah, uh, I think it's, I don't know, what is it, pass, is that it, ah, uh, dang it, door didn't open, let's try that again, ah, uh, what is it, ah, uh, is it password, I think it's password, ah, uh, it's a bit of a problem here, what's the, what's the, what's the problem? Alright, expected string boolean. <laughs> There's actually got to be a boolean value here. Hang on. I knew, I knew I was missing something. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, I think it's password, right? Yeah, there we are. So, it's, that's covering a little rough, a rough little explanation of how you can apply redstone to open doors. And you can also get this to close, which, 
which we'll, we'll get into a little bit more of that next episode. So, I want to say very quickly this episode, I'm, I'm very sorry for the rough, bit of a rough episode today. Didn't have that much time to record and edit, so... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you forgive me because of this episode's roughness, or... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you liked it a lot, and my special exaggerated Aussie accent, uh, give it a, a like button, maybe subscribe, I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.